There are whispers that we have our sea snake for House of the Dragon, the fun time Targaryen Civil War. Hi, thanks for clicking on this video. If you like it, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I'm trying to get to six, six, six patrons. You can join an ever-growing cult and help us summon the Dark Lord. Link in the video description down below, or just go to patreon.com slash rawest. So Deadline is reporting that Danny Sepani is in talks for playing Corliss Valarian, the sea snake. This is Danny Sepani, or Seven? I don't know, your last name is super cool, by the way, dude. You wanna know what's really weird? When I saw the first photo of him after reading about the possible casting, I went, yeah, that's definitely a dude that can play a believable badass sea captain. I should know. I am a certified captain, and just as rugged and badass. But anyways, Danny being cast as the sea snake means House Valerian is a black, super wealthy and powerful house in House of the Dragon, and they have a huge, enormous role in the Targaryen Civil War. And what makes it even more fun is this is one of the few times where changing someone's skin color actually affects the plot a little bit. And some juicy Jerry Springer ass shit is gonna go down in House of the Dragon. I am so excited. Get like loads of popcorn now. Just start buying it every time you go to the grocery store. House of the Dragon is gonna be so fucking juicy. So this is how I think changing the Valarians from being pale and white skin to a house that has darker skin is going to affect the plot. We're gonna cut to some family trees to make this make sense, by the way. Because I know I'm a rambling elderly woman, and if I put up some photos while I talk about what's in my brain, maybe it'll be a uh, coherent. I don't know. You can let me know. House Valarian is from the island of Driftmark in the Blackwater Bay, and they are of Valerian descent having their features as well. Silver hair, purple eyes, and pale skin. They helped the Targaryens a shit ton when they fled to Dragonstone from the Freehold. With the Valarians and Celtgars, the Targaryens ruled in the Narrow Sea and Blackwater Bay, and made quite a bit of money. Because of their closeness, the Targaryens and the Valarians have intermarried quite a bit. Here's a family tree of some of the times a Valarian married into House Targaryen. What becomes important is in 53 AC, Corlys Valarian was born, and later he would marry one of the most badass women ever, Rhaenys Targaryen, the queen that never was. Together, they had a son named Lenore, who was described as having silver white hair, purple eyes, and he looked like a Targaryen, or how a Targaryen should. Lenore eventually marries Rhaenyra Targaryen, played by Emma D'Arcy, one of the two half-siblings fighting it out for the throne. There were heavy rumors that Lenore liked men, and that his and Rhaenyra's kids weren't actually his. It doesn't help that Rhaenyra and Lenore both look like typical Targaryens, silver hair, purple eyes, pale skin, but their kids come out having brown hair, brown eyes, uh, a pug nose, and look suspiciously like Sir Harwin Strong, who was rumored to be Rhaenyra's lover. I mean, come on, if you both have purple eyes, white silver hair, and your kids look like your sworn guard, a little suspicious. And none of the kids got Lenore's elegant nose. So this is how I think House Valarian being black might prove if the rumors are true in the books. If Corlys and Reyna has Lenore, and he is mixed, possibly played by Jesse Williams, just throwing that out there, he is mixed and he has striking eyes. He's also ridiculously hot. Sorry, focusing. So imagine if someone like Jesse and then Emma with silver hair, of course, had kids and they turned out looking like this. Probably would start some tongues wagging. Or maybe they go with a much darker skinned Lenore, and then when the babies come out, it's like, huh, awfully light, but maybe they take after their super pale Targaryen mom. If that happens and they go that way, I think that is the final nail in the, yeah, those are strong kids. Though I doubt many people were doubting that. But I think it adds an extra bit to the rumors and why the shit talking gets out of hand. The only thing I find kind of weird is since we know the Valarians intermixed into the Targaryens a lot, why then didn't we see any 
darker skinned Targaryens. They all stayed like super fucking pale, like paler than me. The Valerians also mixed with other houses. So then why in the main series did we not see more mixed race people or people with darker skin? There was a, a noticeable absence. You're telling me nobody has any of the, the Valerian traits, genetic traits left in them? And we didn't get to see any of that in the main show? Kind of makes D&D look like bigger fucks than they already are. Though I guess of course you could say, oh, magic Targaryen blood, or maybe the Valarians have a special genetic code. You know, they are special. They're Valarians or of Valarian descent. So I, I don't know. I mean, people use the it's fantasy for this stupid fucking moment. Which is why I propose this. Fuck the main show. D&D fucked up so much, this is your time, HBO, to reset. Targaryens with purple eyes. Come on, if The Witcher can do it, you can do it. Don't be a little bitch. Here, HBO is also your chance to show more black people in Westeros because you're playing by the Valarians are black, and since we have family trees showing how they mixed with the Targaryens, Baratheons, and other houses, you should probably make some of those family members black or clearly mixed. Anyways, I know that Danny doesn't look like the description of uh, Corliss in the, the books, the lore, but seriously, look at that dude. He reminds me of the sea snake. I know he like looks almost completely opposite of him, but sometimes people just have the spirit of that character regardless of not matching the description. Hey, but let me know what you think about this, the rumor for this casting because I think it has so many awesome implications and I really really hope this is to do um, more of a, a drama like I said Jerry Springer thing with Renera's kids I think this is gonna be just amazing also if, if you're out in the Sun a lot and you're you know sailing around you're gonna get pretty dark okay actually that brings up a good point how did that guy like in the the book lore not just like burn to a crisp Dude, so fucking pale. Oh, also, I put an Amazon gift card code in one of the last three videos. I, I can't remember which one. I would tell you exactly if I did, honest. I just don't. Um, I guess I could look it up right now, but I'm, I'm not going to. But anyways, just enter the code at amazon.com slash redeem. So yeah, like and subscribe. Otherwise, you're responsible for what this gnome does at that orphanage tonight.